sit or stand upright. Lift the back way up, put chin backward. Look forward and eyes level forward. Bring the vision back. Close eyes, gentle lay. Relax the whole body. Place the tip of the tongue against front teeth meeting. Okay, with today, we talk about some theory about the like seven section. The spleen. We learned section five. Section five practice heart. And learned section six. Section six practice kidneys. So practice heart and kidneys together is Xin Shen Jiao Tong. She is the heart, she is the kidney. So the heart and the kidneys communicate with each other. That's what we learned in section five and six. Okay, now come have a look at the, um, the PowerPoint. Okay. Can you see the PowerPoint? Penny, I can see Penny. Can you see it? Okay. <laughs> Make sure you see it. <laughs> okay. So the section five practice heart. Section six practice kidneys. And practice heart and kidney together. The heart and the kidney communicate together uh, or say each other. <clears throat> Fire Yuan method is related with the five element theory. Probably some people already heard about the Chinese always Wu Xing, Wu Xing, Wu Xing, that five element theory. The Zhenong Qigong or say the five yen method is related with the Wuxing, with the five element theory. According to the five element theory, the heart belongs to fire. The kidney belongs to the water. The fire and water has no fixed form. That come some kind of five element theory. So we learned five, uh, section five and six, six, the heart and the kidneys. And the next one will be section eight and nine, the practice the liver and the lungs. According to five element theory, the liver belongs to wood. The lungs belong to the mental. And the wood and mental have uh, a fixed shape, can really see something. You can keep it, you can move it. But for the um, heart and kidneys belong to the, um, the fire and the water. You can't hold fire, you can't hold water. <laughs> so you can keep it. So that's a different. And uh, we practice heart kidneys or liver and lungs all need to use the mind and the spleen is use mind so we use a spleen between 
the five, uh, five six between the heart, kidneys, and the liver and the lungs. As we do, then it can cover both of them. So practice heart and kidneys, practice liver and lungs, all need use the mind or say idea of the spleen, the spleen um, connect with the mind. So section seven is in the middle between heart, kidneys, and liver, lungs. So Without shapes, without or with shapes, just mean in the middle. So that's seven, seven spleen. And in Chinese culture, and qigong together is very interesting. According to the five elements of the theory, the east okay now. The east is wood, and the west is metal. <laughs> and the, the east and the um, west, so always a fixed shape. The wood with some shapes, you can move, you can keep it. And the metal, you can keep it, you can move it. So that's, uh, that's east and, and uh, west. But the south and north, uh, are water and fire from the fire element theory. So that's the thoughts and laws without fixed shape. So that kind of uh, um, something is Chinese, <laughs> Chinese stuff. <laughs> but we need to understand because the five years really use, use it relatively that. So we understand a little bit something about it. Um, the part said the east and west because of wood and metal. Sometimes in Chinese we say, What's that? But in Chinese, what is the dong xi, the east and east and no, the east and the west? <laughs> you people use with say something, dong xi is not really west east, but it's kind of uh, what that is. We say that is Dongxi, <laughs> because Dongxi really something. But Paul said, nobody asked, what is Nambi? What is the source and north? Because source and north, fire and water, you can hold it, you can see it. But don't, nobody ask uh, source and north, but ask east and west. <laughs> but the east and west is not the east and west. It's something you can see, you can move it, the real something. So that's Chinese. But here, as a, the heart and the kidneys, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, uh, it's without the dong xi, <laughs> without the shape. But uh, the liver and lungs with shape. So, but uh, the spleen is in the middle. The position of a spleen is in the middle. Not only the five, we have the third, the, the five sections in the middle, but actually the, the position or spleen is in the middle of five internal organs. Uh, we can look at the chart we, we, we used before. So the that spleen, that spleen, spleen in the middle, not exactly the middle, so the chart is not exactly, you have to have to make something you can see, but the chi, spleen chi is in the middle, or the five internal organs in the middle. And also the spleen, the position is a part of Huan Yan Chao. That's Huan Yan Chao, that spleen. So that's part of Huan Yan Chao. But in the, uh, no, I don't want to move. <laughs> but uh, in the chart, not exactly what we say, uh, but just roughly something. But you know, the spleen, the position is a part of Huan Yan Chao position. So that's covered. 
So we we use it later because this uh, is very important for for the spring section related with uh, with the uh, Huan Yan Chao. So working together with Huan Yan Chao more than other internal organs. So and the, the position of spleen is part of Huan Yan Chao we just see before. And uh, in the heart kidneys, liver and lungs, the Zhen Qi Huan Hua with Huan Yan Chao Zhen Qi Huan Hua together. This position, this, uh, the Huan Hua, the spleen plays a very important part. The spleen make Huan Hua together very important because spleen is the middle and uh, the position the part of uh, uh, Huan Yan Chao. So the, the spleen is very important, even heart, kidneys, lungs, and uh, liver transform together with uh, Huan Yan Chao. The spleen is a very important uh, position, a very important part. The movement of uh, sex seven mainly is a uh, move from to or from the four internal organs. So all the heart, kidneys, liver, lungs, all around that, in out, in out, that way. So the movement covers the four internal organs. And that is uh, the movement not only stressing the function of a spleen, and stressing the connection between the four internal organs and the Yan Chao. So that's why we said it's very important uh, the, the, the vital rule. Because uh, all the spring, all the, the movement, movement around all the, the four internal organs. And that way working together with the uh, Huan Yan Chao. So that's uh, um, Later you you will see how how to move, but the move is uh, is covered the other four uh, internal organs, and that is a, a key step for internal for for internal organs. Zhang Zhen Qi Hui Hua into integral. So Zhang Zhen Qi is the uh, is a, the um. And working together with the four internal organs into one. And the spleen is very important. And the spleen section is a key section in 5 ms third. So that's why we give more theory today. Understand. If you understand, when you do it, get more benefit in picker. Because understand. Even not really understand, but understand something, <laughs> understand something, it make you can get into it better. Okay, now we come back to see what we what we did before, what we learned about the spring because this section practice spring and see what we learned before. Spring located in up. Abdomen, so that we know it. And uh, it's at the back of the stomach. Okay. So, spleen is a uh, pancreas in, in medicine. The pancreas at the back of the stomach. So, you remember the back of stomach is a pancreas in the medicine. Later on, we will use it, we use uh, the position. So, you, you remember. That's where it is. And the chi mark, chi mark is a chi gathering, where chi gathering is between jian li and the xia wan point. And spring covers muscles, covers mind. So the mind related with spring. So that's why we use it between 
the uh, five, six, and eight, nine in the middle, because your mind covers that, all of that. And spleen comes with the stomach to complete the digestion function. That's the spleen, what, what it does. And the emotion of spleen is contemplation. So that's very important that we, we, more, we talk more about this today. So contemplation is very important to this section, to the spleen section. The sound of spleen is singing. The spleen qi hua governs hua, transforming. An open chow is at the mouth, and uh, the essence of spleen is lips, lips. So that's what we learned before. Okay, today we're talking about the emotion of a spleen, contemplation. Okay, we learned the emotion of spring is a contemplation, so deep thinking. And uh, practice the section seven with the emotion of contemplation from beginning to the end, always keep, keep this kind of uh, emotion, contemplation. So from beginning to the end, Keep it. Oh, that's better. Then I can see more. Okay. And with a state of mind that embodies tranquility. So that is what we are doing. We need to keep this kind of state of the mind. But how? Okay. Now give, give um, something we can do. You think that's the tip of nose, a little bit down. You think there, you focus there now. You focus on the little bit lower than, than the, the tip of nose. You feel it now. Okay, people are doing well. You feel it now. There is a cord. So we say tammy there, and we had a hand tammy on the, on the, the uh, finger. And here is a, a Zhong Tianmen. And come to spleen, the back of stomach. Some people already feel it. And that way, it's deep thinking, <laughs> deep thinking. Okay, people do well. Okay, that is say, uh, from there, you directly come to spleen Zhonggong. Zhonggong, we say, or say the middle of a spleen. We need to talk something about the Zhonggong, what the Zhonggong is. Okay, say something about the Zhonggong. We need, I need to show you maybe clear. Or probably Jalu, Jalu like this, show you like this. Okay, Zhonggong, can you see me well? Okay, so Zhonggong, 
In China, we all say jiu gong ge. Jiu gong ge is nine square. Nine square jiu gong ge. Nine square. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So nine squares. We often use that jiu gong ge. At the middle square is zhong gong. So that's zhong gong. And zhong gong, that means the middle. So now we say, Spring Zhong Gong is come to the middle of the middle of spring. So from from the middle Kemen can directly come to spring Zhong Gong. And you feel it already. Now we come back to the, the point. The point, we focus on the point. Focus on the Tianmen and the mind return because folks there, folks when folks is actually it's the mind there. The mind come there, the mind return into body, and then the qi follows the mind, and this directly come to spring. And the qi concentrated to hui yuan because spring, the position is a part of hui yuan. So when things there, comes spring and comes hui yuan. And the location hui yuan and the location of spring connect together. So that way, come to spring, from, from there comes spring, come to Huiyuan. Yeah, people are still feel it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> then we need to do it later. And the compilation helps the qi hua, the qi, tra qi transformation. The mind, or said consciously thinking, affects the flow of qi. We thinking, we concentrate to think. To think that way affect the chi flows. The chi can affect the chi moving. And the yi shu, yi shu is a keep, keep your mind in. Through yi shu, through keep your mind in, the mind return back and then at some part of the body, the qi come together. And that way, interesting the function of that part. So we think, uh, we think when we focus on Zhong uh, Tianmen, the middle Tianmen, there the qi gather to the, or say um, the spleen, the middle spring comes there and qi gather in to the spring zhong gong and connect to huan yan qiao because the spring, the position, huan yan qiao position is part of it to come to huan yan qiao to come the point works well <laughs> that's a, you say, just thinking or feeling or say feel or say folks there directly come to Huan Chao. So when compilation the changes the production or growth and flowing of qi. So just from the deep thinking can change all this this kind of all, all the qi. 
and uh, strengthen the function of transformation discipline. So through thinking, through the completion, can do a lot. That's why this function, this section, use completion. And the uh, practical comp completion of spleen uh, improve the spleen. But the thinking without worry, you don't think, but what is this, what is that? That doesn't work. And it's still, still get a chi in, but this chi is a, is a morbid chi, harmful to the, to, the, to the body, to the health. So don't worry, just, just thinking, deep thinking, but don't be worrying, worrying to make, a, <laughs> make something bad. <laughs> okay, that's for the... For this... Um, the emotional spleen. And then we talk about contemplation. The contemplation helps qi hua. Qi hua is qi transformation. The consciously thinking affects the flowing of qi. And through yi shou, keep the mind. The mind return. The yi shou is the mind come back. That's, that's a, Completion make it mind come back. And focus on Zhong Tianmen, the middle Tianmen, the qi gathered in spleen, Zhong Gong, so we said about the middle of spleen, the qi gathered there. There is where Hui and Chao is. Um, and the spleen. Mainly is talking about contemplation, and that's working. People are still feel feel the spleen now, from from Zhong Tianmen, and come to spleen. Yeah, people still feel it. That's good. Actually, when I prepare the the theory class, I always feel my spleen. <laughs> always feel. Oh, they feel they have the chi there. <laughs> so when I prepare prepare the class, I can improve my Kung Fu. <laughs> it's like a practice as well. So that's very good. <laughs> so we're talking about theory actually improve your Kung Fu already. And theory often the chi deeper improve quicker actually, <laughs> but it just take a long time to prepare. <laughs> anyway. Okay, that I think uh, the, that's all uh, the, uh, that's uh, the theory probably talking about, come back. Okay, back. And now we um, see the, the moment with Paulo's video. Okay, come, still need to share. Can you see video? Shina, I, I, oh yeah, it's a pain there. Yeah, okay. So now we just, just see the video. Now I translate. Okay, Paul said, we already learned the uh, heart and kidneys. 
and say the say that the, the uh, what we, we said before the section heart and the kidneys the pack together is a xin shen jiu tong xin shen jiu tong is a heart and kidneys communicate each other that's per se The heart uh, perhaps to talk more about five uh, element theory <laughs> probably we just keep there if too much probably confused okay perhaps said the um the kidney the heart kidney and then the liver as, and, and lungs, so the, the spring is a bit what we said before. The heart is fire, the kidney is water, without, without a fixed shape. The liver is wood. The last is mental. So with a fixed shape. And the person said about the east and east and west. That's real something. In Chinese we said, what is this? This is Dong <laughs> Xi. Okay, the Chinese way to say. <laughs> but don't ask where's the north or or source because no source is a wood and is a, is a fire and water. So you can't really move, <laughs> can't hold it. So the Chinese culture, something <laughs> like that, is very interesting. Talking about the fire element, and that going. Yeah, from the from kidney section out. Then the head up. Then turn palms forward. Then turn forward. That should be easier. It's uh, because we in the the body and the mind, the mind method we bend the body forward is similar. So here is the same as the second method, body and mind uh, method. That is curl down or say or say arc down, arc arc. Down, but the kidneys is flat down. So look, at, you look at the teacher, the red, the red teacher. <laughs> Her body is arc, not flat. But the way we do kidneys. That flat, the body flat, but this one's arc. Then to the bottom, in turn, turn the head and pull up. Up to Hui Yan as a, a coil, coil hands, or well, you can't see me, maybe just like that. coil hands, like that, but it's under. So when teacher stand and show me, show, show us how to do it, but the, 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 um, the red teacher is what we should be like that. And about the coil hands process,
Carl said, the uh, coil has da yan, da yan gong as a, 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 a qigong method. And uh, da yan gong, and uh, not one. And he xiang zhuang, he xiang zhuang is another method. The da yan gong and he xiang zhuang, the coil has purpose is pulling qi. So we in the five year method, we call the hands is practice the four ends. The four ends is the two hands, two feet, that's eight ends of our body. So we practice the ends. The purpose we call the hands purpose is practice the four ends. And the four the four A's um, governed governed by spleen. So we work in in the spleen. And here is the move the hand. How about the feet? So when you when you coil the hand, the toes up. So toes up and turn the hands. So that way it's practice. This these two eight and another two eight together. And the Da Yan Gong, Da Yan Gong, another method is they they coil the hands is a two way, two way. Uh, two way coiling, but uh, He Xiang Zhuang is one way, the same as what we do. He Xiang Zhuang, we have to say something more. He Xiang Zhuang designed, original designed by Pao Lao Shi, but afterwards, she let someone else to organize that, to, to teach that. So original from Paolo, so that's, it's actually the one, it's the one system. So He Xiang Zhuang is one, one way uh, coil hands, and the five year method is one way, because the five year method from, <laughs> from He Xiang Zhuang original, we turn the hands, we turn the hands, we coil the hands, it gets chin, get chin, get chin. Not only turn, but get qi in. The purpose, get qi in. As a, into, get qi in, into the body. 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 Someone asked question and the policy is answer the question. Question is about uh, about some some point. Point the point is from uh, point is Guolin Guolin Lao method use use another point. So punch because someone asked question and punch answer the question. Um, it's not not with this this section, but anyway, 
that was per se. And uh, probably Guolin Qigong, we say a little bit more. Guolin Qigong, Guolin is another teacher, a different method. But Paulus helped her about, uh, about uh, her Qigong, helped her. Um, so that's why Paulus knew her Qigong very well. And Paulus said, Guolin Los is, did a very good job because a part of uh, his work is from the traditional come to new new style of Qigong, something changes. So Paulus always said Guolin Qigong, Guolin Los is very, very, did very well, did a very good job. But may mention about her, her point. We turn the thing into Hui Yan, into Hui Yan. We turn not only the hands, but use elbows, elbows move together, elbows, shoulders move together. That way the Qi different. If the hands only hands is not right, that should not right away, but use elbows together, elbows together, right. And if uh, with elbows, shoulders together, the chi is uh, it grow, to grow. On only the hands, the chi is different. If move together. You may try by yourself. When you part say you try by yourself, it's different. Follow pounds and do it, it's much stronger. Uh, we talk about the hands. Hands Is one way to do it, but that's not what we are doing. Another way is the hands. That is what we are doing. The sun move up. Up to the top, then the sun's head. So come up, then separate the sun, and then separate the middle finger, then turn around the bridge. The bridge cover different internal organs. The nipple is a liver. And the whole uh, breast is a stomach. Inside is spleen. Inside the breast is spleen. So inside different levels, <laughs> so the, the, the breath cover different, uh, different uh, internal organs. The nipple belong to liver. Um, the areola, and all as a dark color and still belong to liver. The whole 
um, breast belong to stomach. The stomach is, is, is a digest stomach. So when you turn around the bridge, it's from the spleen up, up through the heart, then up the lungs. So come to the lungs. Why don't we turn on the top of the lungs, but we turn around the bridge? Why? Because inside the, the bridge uh, belong to the digestive stomach. Inside is kidneys, lungs. We're talking more about five elements uh, theory. Tu sheng jing, tu soil or the ground uh, produce mental. <laughs> but there's something about that, but that is a, is a, a more five elements theory. So there actually is a nourish the lungs. So the lungs jing and spleen jing is better than only the lungs. So that's why we turn around the bridge, not only the lungs. So if you turn, so one way, turn around the bridge, and then turn another way around the bridge. Then after afterwards, come there. So come there, 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 then move down. Move down. And then come roughly and from there, move out. It's when you when your body is this way. So from out, this way out. From double out, double out, then turn, pumps down, and move forward. Then move down again. When you, from double out, heart and lungs, both all out. Dabo is uh, the spring jin uh <laughs> Lua Xia is a big one. So we said Jing Lua Jin Lua Jin or the Lua is small. Jin is a bigger, Lua is smaller. So that is Lua Xia. Lua Xia but uh important Lua Xia. So Dabo. Is a spleen bigger, large, double. So that's why from double move out. But it covers the whole body. So the whole body connect together from, from double.
how to say that. So, so we'll, next time we'll move the liver and the kidneys. After after say that come to the liver and at the liver. We have two livers, remember? Do you remember the theory? We have two livers. One the left, one the side, right, then vibrate the livers. Then move to the back. Back. The head on the kidneys, on the kidneys. You press the kidney, the kidneys. When you press the kidneys, breathe in. Press, press the head, press down, and breathe in. This way. Then come back. To kidneys, uh, to uh, to liver, roughly. Then move down, down to level. Out, thighs, into to uh, spring hands, spring hands. When when the on jump me. But the palms facing back, palms facing back. Even you, you the downward palms still facing back. Palms facing facing back. This way, this way down. You make a sound. Make sound, Pound said, beginning, you can stand up to make sound when you're standing. Because the beginning, probably you feel uncomfortable. When you're this way, uncomfortable, and make sound, put the get in. So we, we then we stand up, we stand up, up and make sound. After you practice, after practice, you use it, then you make sound when you downward. The beginning, when you do it, it's hard to get into a job. But after practice, after practice, then you you can you can bend and make sound. That way. That way is better, but the beginning is harder. So the beginning stands up, makes sound. The later on is better. Okay, that's uh, that's the video. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, Shina, you still didn't <laughs> didn't come back. Could you hear now? Yes, yeah, no, 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 it's okay. I started the game and it was okay and I heard you. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, the Penny, the the Penny helped you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Penny. Yes, yes. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so yes, now. I, 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 yeah. Okay, now today there's, there's, a, there's a, the, um, the video as well. So next time we will practice. And probably give more details at <laughs> the moment. Okay, any questions? Hey, on which point do you put the thumb uh, with the mudra, the mudra of the spleen, on which point? I didn't get it. You said that when we do the, the spleen mudra, yeah, it is like this, yes. Where, where do we put the thumb, on which point? Jongmen. Ah, okay, okay. 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 So when, okay, we, when we press this, then have four fix down me. So that's just put on down me. But down me, but okay. the hands facing, facing back. This way, facing mm -hmm. back. Not this way, not okay. this. 
his bed. And Zhang okay, you some there, there push on Zhang Not not okay. not his finger tips of, of finger, but mm. this way and back. I see. Thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any other questions? Very often kinds of questions. Now you are very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you unmute if you want to talk. Okay. I can hear you. Uh, point of the mudra spleen, uh, as you say, I, I cannot uh, understand how to write it in English. The point of the can you just write in chat? How do you write it in English, please? What's your question? <laughs> if you can write in English the point of the mudra. Dhamen. Can you please write it? Because I don't find it. Dhamen. You. Dhamen, you learn the same message. Should we use Dhamen already? And we often say, press Dhamen, uh, press head on Dhamen. Thank you. So it should be Oliver 13 or Goldblader 25, but uh, <laughs> make more details. Okay, see you tomorrow. Uh, uh, oh. One more question. Okay. Uh, the whole time, the whole time when we practice and we open the hands and we do the circles around the breast, the whole time the toes are up, or only when we when we curl the the hands. You understand my question? Oh uh, yeah. Um, the the toes, the toes that we we put up, is it only when we do this curling the, the hands or the whole section the of whole the section. movement? Whole section. Ah, the whole section? Okay. Mm. Okay. But when you put it down, make sound. <laughs> make sound. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. You Thank have you. very deep, detailed questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.